Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue when you're installing software and it says shell execute ex failed code error 8235, a referral was returned from the server. Or alternatively, the error message may read that the system administrator has set policies to prevent this installation. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in GP Edit, and best match, you'll come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. And underneath the, let me just expand this column a little bit here. And underneath the area that says computer configuration, so the first category, double click on the corresponding Windows settings button. And then you want to do the same thing for the security settings button. So double click on that. And now there should be a local policies folder, double click on it. And now locate security options. Now you want to locate on the right side something that says user account control. So scroll down to that section and locate user account control, only elevate executables that are signed and validated. Double click on that. You want to set this to disabled, and then you would select apply and okay, at least temporarily. By default, this is set to disabled. Now, if you're on enterprise user or using some sort of you know, domain network, it's certainly possible that you might have different settings or different configurations, in which case maybe enabled is the default option. However, for most you know, consumer retail versions of Windows, people are using disabled here as default. So select apply and okay, which is fine for you know, most instances. I mean, if you're running a bank, maybe you would want to keep it enabled, but uh, for most people, just keep it disabled, it's fine. That's, that's how it was you know, by default, like I said. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and you will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, at this point, the issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.